Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Duck Duck Dog here, and I've been sitting here for half an hour figuring out what to talk about, and I actually wanted to talk about this on my stream that I'm going to be doing today. But um, I'm going to be talking about my original pitch for Prestige 2s that I gave to Sir Hunt Predator before, or maybe after he had the idea fully panned out. Now, as you all know, Prestige 2s is an upgrade in the game. You have to have 500 wins, total wins, and 5,000 kills with a specific kit and Prestige 1, which is 2 million coins, in order to unlock Prestige 2. So the requirements to have said kit are uh, it's, it's quite a doozy. Now... Each of these upgrades comes with something very small, or sometimes very, something very game-breaking. So, for example, Necromancer has a Sharpness 2 shovel for no reason, by the way. Also, Celanson, you gotta stop that, bro. You gotta cut that out. But, um... My idea was a lot more balanced, I believe. Like, if I were to genuinely kind of put it down to the line, I think my idea was a lot more balanced. And I actually have no idea if Sir Hunt copied off of my idea or not. But I'm just going to talk about it today in this video. This is probably going to be a video that's going to be under 7 or 8 minutes, you know, because I've been recording a lot of gameplay stuff where I talk for a long time. But anyway, let's uh, get on with the topic. My idea for Prestige 2s was to have an upgrade for the kit available. I don't think I had the requirements panned out to him. I just had the upgrades. So let's just say the requirements were the same as they are today. Now, the... Prestige 2s were more of a flex than they were right now, and the upgrades were decent, but they weren't useless, and they weren't way too good. So, for example, Prestige 2 Creeper, in my eyes, would have been one power-charged Creeper. That's it. One power-charged Creeper, maybe one TNT, and maybe one normal Creeper. Basically, the concept that I wanted was I wanted there to be more utility to the kit. Like, a microscopic amount of utility added on, like... Just one cool thing in the kit that's like, wow, this is a Prestige player, like, this is really obvious. Because Prestige 2 Creeper right now, it's just Golden Leggings, like, how do you know they're Prestige 2 unless you literally kill them? Right? So my goal was to have Prestige 2s be really obvious, right? Um, and for some kits, I wanted it to be a nod towards their older counterparts. Oh, this guy's gonna really give it a shot. He's gonna try on me, because I killed him as Rambo last game while he was crying about it all game long. Because, you know, as Rambos do, they cry about things. When they go Rambo, like, you willingly pick the kit, and then you cry when you're the kit, which is literally what I did. So I'm, I don't know why I'm shitting on this guy for doing that. Anyway, so my prestige upgrade for Horse Tamer would have been a nod to how it was in the past. So it actually would have gotten a, um, or maybe even two, possibly, healing potions uh, or a gapple, one of the two. So, this would have uh, been a nod towards it being uh, older, and also, I think Prestige 2 should have been, like, maybe a nod to it being RNG. I think this guy's cheating, yeah. Yeah. Just hop out of that. No need to get frustrated with that kind of shit. Because, like, come on, they're just be hopping on you for you to get frustrated. Like, there's just no fucking point. Anyway. Prestige 2s. Um, let's actually, like, open the kit menu so I can, like, talk about one that I was going to do. I pitched Horse Tamer to him, Creeper Tamer, and I pitched Baker. Baker, it would have been one of the old potions, so it would have been, like, Res 2, um, and that's it. Just a Res 2 potion, and the time on it would have been really low. And I feel like this would have just been good for all of the kits. And I feel like for Troll, I feel like uh, what a good Prestige 2 upgrade would have been is Bring Back the Fireworks... And make the witch invincible. Speaking of, I'm just gonna go troll, why not? Oh man. Oh man, troll 10. Oh. Damn it, I got knocked off. Well, now I got a hub. Now I gotta play again. Oh, that Quasars dude was hacking on me earlier today. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's Lontano who hit me off. The dude with the Speely skin. It wasn't Quasars, I don't know why he taunted, but um... Yeah, that dude's been cheating with Quasars username for no reason. Anyway. Yeah, Prestige 2s for me were supposed to be like something that wasn't as broken as it is today because you have kits like Warrior 10 that are already game-breaking as is. Like, it's literally the second best kit in the game to me. And it gets an extra potion. So it literally is one of the best Prestige 2s. And then you have Ranger Prestige 2 where it gives it a wooden sword. Anyway, another example would be Scout, Pre Scout Prestige 2. Scout Prestige 2, I would give... Um, probably give it uh, a full heal back as a reference like you know to how it was back then which like you know that's fine like it's just 
The thing is, Prestige 2s are actually somewhat difficult to get if you don't go for them, like, right off the bat. And if, like, it, it all depends on your mentality. So if you're, like, a really good grinder and you're really good with one certain kit, it's good to go for it. Especially if you're playing a broken-ass kit like Ranger or Warrior or maybe even Donkey Tamer before it was nerfed. But if, you know, you're grinding shit like Knight and Diver and fucking Horse Tamer, it's a little bit harder to get those wins if you're playing shit like Solo Mode with all these fucking cheaters or whatever. And, um, I really wanted to make a chart of this on stream of shit that I wanted Prestige 2s to be. I never had the idea fully panned out, but I had the foundation, you know, built. It was, it was a very small foundation, and I was building up from that. And then Sir Hunt just basically waved me off, and he was like, no, no, dude, it's fine, it's fine. I got it, I got it. And then he made the broken, utterly broken concept that we know today. I truly believe that my concept is less broken than his. I believe that my concept is better for how the upgrading system of the game has always been. It's always been small little items, it's never been anything out of fucking nowhere. So like, for example, the wooden axe in armor. Who asked for that? <laughs> Who asked for that? My upgrade for Prestige 2 armor would have been like, I don't know, like, the thorns on the chest plate again or something. Like just, just something that is so like out of not even, not even out of the blue, but like something that's very obvious, yet something that no one would guess is like how I wanted to style it. Oh, X Fury going to, you know, clean me even though I'm literally an officer in his guild. I wish people were like less ignorant with that kind of thing. Like, dude, I could literally just kick you. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, man, you might want to not be a total fucking dickwad to, uh, to people that are officer in your guild. I'm just saying, man. Because I fucking do kick people for being assholes. I totally do. Of course. Of course. And I don't even kick people for just killing me. I kick people for just being assholes in general. Like, if you're being an asshole in chat, like, come on, man. Echoes is, like, supposed to be chill. We don't want any dickwads in our guild. Now, I don't know about Julian, but, you know, of course. You know, it's his guild, so. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so Prestige 2s were just supposed to be something entirely different in my book. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what Sir Hun does. And that's why I kind of removed him on Discord and stopped talking to him, because it's all he fucking does, man. Like, I, 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 he's probably chill. Uh, I mean, he is, yes, he's chill to talk to. He's very chill to talk to. He's very cool. I have a video with him where he's talking and hanging out with me and Sean on my channel. And he's really cool, but, like, he has such an ego over his own little, little sense of creativity that he just is not willing to accept the fact that anyone other than him can be creative in this particular game mode. And it's it's actually really infuriating to see that kind of, uh, oh, x Fury taking no knockback. That's pretty cool. I love that. You love to see it? You love to see it? Oh, that's cool. I love that he did that to me. He got me to one heart. Anyways, yeah, so that's the video. I just am really tired of Sir Hunt being HPC and not really listening to anybody unless it's at the very last second, which is pretty lame. But yeah, there's the vid for today. Stream is later today if you guys want to tune in. X Mexi, holy shit, you just have to fuck off, dude. Like, lose the boner. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to end the video. Lose the boner. See you guys around. I hope uh, if you guys want to leave, like, you know, your opinions in the comments about my Prestige 2 idea, then you can. But yeah, peace out.